I thought it would be neat to see if I can create a stage for Up the Rebuttal roleplay that we played last week. I want to see if I can create a little bit of variety by having a new stage for it, and I want to see if I can do it in 30 minutes. I probably won't be able to do it in 30 minutes, but I'll try. We're going to be starting from scratch with an empty stage. So, the first thing that I was thinking is, well, first I want to get rid of that comfort vignette. Okay, so next thing that I was thinking is design a layout. So, for a stage, I'm going to want, oh gosh, an area where I can place, uh, so here's, here's kind of my stage area. I don't think it needs to be too big. Next up, an audience area, and I think that's going to be something more like this size. So I'm just going to create the layout here. So there's my audience area, and then I think I'm also going to have uh, some spaces in the wing. So audience goes here, stage goes here. Just additional wing area there, so I'm going to need a lot of chairs to start thinking about the texture. Oh, I think red brick works fine for th the kind of venue that I'm looking at here. I can do red brick walls. Red brick behind the stage, wood for the rest of the walls. Yeah, so this is... this is... A debate room, I guess. I'm kind of internally modeling it off of m more like a, a comedy club. <laughs> because the size, right? The debate room is going to be in this big amphitheater or something like that. But uh, we're, we're, doing a, we're doing a small scale debate room. Um, and I, don't think, I don't think it would have windows. Nice dark wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. And this needs to be adjusted, which means I need to pick that up. Stage is going to be here. I want something that's going to be the base of the stage. Structure. Wooden floor works for me. Let's try and get this into a nice position here. Is this roughly lined up? And now we're going to disable snap on each of these. And so what I'm thinking is, because you can't technically float, I'm going to just raise this a little bit so it's like almost not noticeable that, you're, that, that your feet are clipping through. So I've got my stage. Actually, a ladder is going to... I want a ladder. I want a ladder next to the stage. That's a good idea. Oh, there's just going to be a lot of nice stuff here, isn't there? I I'm going back to high school theater in my head and thinking that this is the stairs that's leading up to... Oh, I need to fix that. Leading up to whoever's got, like, a, a, a lighting room up here. More props. How are... What do these look like? Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, why don't I just go... 200% scale and put this on either side. Oh. That gives a, a nice texture to the wall here. I like that. Huh. Speaking of textures, I need to fix this wall over here. We need a ceiling. What's the ceiling going to be? I want, like, some kind of plaster-looking thing, and I feel like the clay is the best that I've got for that. Was that the right choice? Not sure. Ooh, I kind of like the the vibe that that gives. Because presidential debate in, like, a rundown kind of space here. Also, I do set the debate in the future when I run it because the future is just funnier. Uh, <laughs> oh, I like I like the effect that that gave. And then, let's see, props, and I want to go into sci-fi, and I want trussing. And do this. I think I'm gonna have a few of these put around. This should be positioned in front of the stage like so. I'm just going to line this up as quickly and roughly as I can. Turn off floor snap on all of these and go up. That looks good. Go up and go up. Not lined up at all. Oh, that looks good enough. Okay. Add this in at either end. There we go. And I kind of want to add another one in 
here, like so. Just a smaller one, two more of these, and one more of these. And this goes here, this goes here. Turn off floor snap on these, and raise them up. I've got these two, so they are going to go like that. I kind of want to raise this a little bit still. Okay, okay. So, you know what? Yeah, I really realize I need to move these still. Okay, that's probably a lot better, more supportive. I think it looks like it needs a lot of chairs. They should be under decor, right? So I've got benches, I've got a chair that looks like this. I'm gonna kinda take out a couple chairs and see which one I want. Ooh, ooh, tavern bench might be even better. Just have these kinds of benches. Hmm, I like tavern bench better. Yeah, I like the back, I, I like back support too, but I also like the benches. And uh, part of me is thinking of committing to the uh, comedy club vibe and putting like tables and like a little bar and then maybe add some some benches in as well. Let's look under fantasy decor again. Uh, see if there's anything here. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, this is perfect. This is like actually perfect. Okay. Okay, we're going to we're going to do these. I should have probably placed them all facing the opposite direction cuz now I have to turn them all around. So we've got our front row seats, and our second row. Gosh, you'd think I'd be better at lining things up, because I'm in VR. I mean, it's hard to line things up in real life, too. I guess humans are just bad at lining up straight rows of benches. I, I wonder why we wouldn't have evolved to be perfect at s lining up straight rows of benches. Like... <laughs> Okay, so we've got our benches. I actually kind of want to delete the back row of the benches and put in those those tables. Mm, I think if I'm going to design a bar, it's going to need to be a little bit more in-depth than what I have time for. Maybe I actually don't do that at all, and I put those benches that I just deleted back in. Next thing I want to do after this is... Uh, lighting and so I'm gonna go FX lighting I've got spotlights and these will look like nice stage lights um. <coughs> so you're gonna want one two three and then another like one two three <coughs> And I'm using these as much as props as I am uh, uh, lighting. Um, and then... Let's see... We also want... Some space up here on... Uh, we, we want like a kind of podium deal, right? I'm almost wondering if this might be useful. Hmm, not quite. What about this? You know what? You know what? I think I like this. Let's add two more of these. And I think what the trick is going to be is to flip these upside down. It kind of works, it kind of doesn't. Let's try unflipping it. It's probably better this way. And so we've got our stage there. And these lights all need to be lined up. I'm a little over the 30 minutes, but I think I have like a decent looking stage for 30 minutes. I'm planning to keep going a bit beyond the 30 minute limit and see if I can polish it. But like, I, I think it looks decent. Main thing that I just got to do is get these lights actually doing things. Um, so let's do low intensity, high range on these. And then I could just test this a bit by throwing down an NPC and seeing how the lighting changes on them. 
based on, okay, so out of the light, it's like that. Move over here, got decent lighting. Over here, quite bright lighting. Yeah, I think that works. I think that just has naturally done good lighting for the area. And add some characters, actors. Uh, so we might as well just go for all the actors, because why not? Now people can choose whichever character that they want. And I'll get rid of this NPC for now. And I think I do want to add in like a, a front door, but this is going to be one way. So then portal, put another portal here. I want this connection. And this is just a space as a GM for me to pick which character I want to play. And I'm just putting all these in here so that I have a selection from them when the game starts. And maybe I can like switch characters out, uh, have special guests as well. So now the GM actually has a selection of NPCs they can pick, and they can pick and choose based on what the players actually picked. And I think this came out looking okay. What do you guys think? Uh, can certainly be used for our presidential debate. I think I can probably expand this and yeah I, I do want a lounge area with like soda and stuff as well but I think for for up the rebuttal this this uh, would work fairly well so yeah I think this has come out well and a uh, backstage letter yeah that's one of the things that I wanted to do but I was like okay I, I only have 30 minutes to set this up what I wanted to do is start in like <clears throat> a space like right here right and add like a, a sticky note that says here to go to the green room and here to go to the main area so it's like your entrance hallway and then people going to the green room are going to be like the presidential candidates or the moderator and they'll go this way and then come out through here and then people going th to the main area are going to go down a different hallway come down here and pop out and be like, oh. And I think that would be just like a nice little immersive bonus. Also, I would kind of like to be able to add something that looks like uh, curtains here that I could pick up and draw um, by just being here as the GM and just like move them off to the side. Uh, but I'm not sure what I'd use for that. I haven't looked. This is actually possibly going to work. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a second. If I do that, I do this. Wow, I am so clever. I am so clever. And so the idea here is like I, I can start the session and I can grab both of these at once can just lift it like this that's awesome okay thanks for coming and seeing the stream i've got more planned i'm gonna i'm gonna try and edit this into 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 a video we're probably gonna be doing fairly regular building a map streams anyways thanks for watching i'm not very good at goodbyes so i'm just kind of rambling <laughs> have a good one Bye bye